Hey, thanks for being here again. I uh, just wanted to show you a couple things in Studio One 5.4. That's the new launch release that they had out today. And uh, uh, today being September 14th. Now, it's got uh, a couple of bells and whistles with it, of course. The big one being, uh, if you're an Apple M1 user, it's got native Apple support, and it works really well. So you might have seen uh, the other video. I'll put a link for that uh, right up here for you. But today, what I wanted to quickly show you is I did some drum recordings uh, this past weekend, and uh, these are live drum recordings on my acoustic drum set. Nothing's been edited, nothing's been sampled or anything yet. Um, I've got a couple of trigger plugins that I'm using on the channels, but I uh, actually had a whole bunch of plugins running on my uh, inputs. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to print my sounds. I was really happy with the way that things sounded. Um, I know I'm going crazy on here <laughs> on these inputs here, but there we go. Okay. Uh, so yes, uh, the I was happy with the way things sounded, and that was just using the plugins uh, right on the inputs. Uh, so you can see there, I've got a whole bunch of plugins uh, set up there: compressors, EQs. Lots of them are Personas plugins, but there are some uh, Virtual Mix Bus plugins in here as well. The Slate ones. I'll just show you those, and they're not just using one or two things either. They're, you know, using. Uh, a uh, compressor, a couple of EQs, a uh, trimmer. Uh, so what do I got in the session here? I've got a whole bunch of other stuff. I've got um, a few trigger. Let me pull this down and show you. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, five triggers, uh, six triggers. I've got one, two, uh, two virtual mix buses, uh, slate plugins, on, just on the drums. I've got some compressors, gates, EQs, whole bunch of stuff here. And then I've got, of course, the, my drum bus. Uh, I've got the distortion. I got it bypassed right now, but whatever. Bat channel, uh, binaural. And then you can see I've got a vitamin in here from Waves. I've got Neural DSP running on one of my guitars. I had it running. I printed it though. So you can see I've got a whole bunch of plugins running here. And if you look at the disc performance, I've only, I'm only running 30%. Okay, now why is that? Because uh, Persona Studio One 5.4 has a new feature called Plugin Nap. So what does that do? Well, basically what it means is you can put all your plugins all over the place that you want to do, no problem. The plugin will only uh, activate and consume CPU resources when it's got audio passing through it. Okay, if it there's no audio passing through the plugin, then Studio One puts that plugin in a sleep mode, much like what you have sleep mode on your computer or your laptop. If you're just mixing drums, for example, but you've got a whole bunch of plugins on your guitars and all that kind of stuff that you that you're not listening to at the moment, it'll just bypass all that. It, not bypass it, but it'll put the plugin to sleep, or as Persona says, it'll nap it. Um, I wish that worked for our kids and our dog. Yeah, anyway. So as you can see here, I've got it enabled. If I disable this, watch the CPU usage. Okay, so I'm not playing anything right now. Okay, so it jumped to 40, 41%, okay. Uh, I think this will go a long way um, using the Personas plugins, especially, uh, because they're obviously coded to work best with that. Uh, how it works with other plugins, hard to say, but it looks like if you give it a little bit of time, it's, it kind of works a little bit better. So, but it does show you, it drops it down a few percentage. It's not going to make a 50% CPU saving or anything like that, at least not on this computer. Maybe on other computers, it, it would do that. I'm guessing probably if you're running a slower computer, it would do something like that. But anyway, just wanted to show you this. So hopefully this uh, helped you out. If it did, uh, please just hit that like button below. Uh, that lets YouTube know that you like this kind of content. And hit the subscribe link and notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. So uh, this is Dark Rose Recording. I'm Jesse. Thank you very much for being here.